Entrepreneurs Forum is um, something that we ran last year, um, which was an idea which we kind of put together over a coffee on the back of a fag packet, saying, wouldn't it be great if we could just get everybody in a room together? People who are really interested in starting new businesses, people who might be interested in catalyzing a new economy, and people who would be really interested in investing in that new economy. Well, the idea behind the Local Economic Forum is to bring entrepreneurs, investors, and other sorts of experts and catalysts into the same room so that they can make connections, build relationships, and hopefully um, get some new businesses started. The things that you can do at, you know, at forums like this is, even if you're not yourself an entrepreneur, but you're interested in how the community is growing or where the community is going in the future, that you can participate and, and, and see the kind of businesses that might be starting up and where you can help. The main outcomes are really tangible things that people get some kind of investment support, like last year the credit union got a £10,000 investment and, um, and people were, at, were offered land for their businesses. But actually the other outcomes are more um, around people feel supported, much more confident about their business, about their propositions and that they're not alone in what they want to do, that they're part of a family. Uh, this is the second year we've done it. and. Um, Loads of people have told us that they've made great connections, whether it's uh, an entrepreneur making connections with a potential partner, a potential investor, uh, or uh, an investor who has uh, been able to find a place to, to put their money where it's going to do some good, or an expert who's made a connection where they've been able to mentor somebody. They can feel it and be inspired and see how easy and accessible it actually is for everyone within the community to gather around it. It's positive change makers to, to say build this this future that we're we're all kind of deep in our hearts longing for. How exciting things are developing! You know, the the, the, the new the future that uh, as Charles Eisenstein would say our, our hearts know is possible is is actually happening in and around Top Ness. You know, you can see that you can hear hear the people talking about their ideas and connecting already in the room next door to us. And hopefully, particularly with the the Community of Dragons event that we're going to have, the kind of the final flourish of of um, connectivity at the end of the day. It, what we hope, I think, is that we're going to allow people to experience what um, a community gathering around its social entrepreneurs looks like. I think everybody is a potential investor in their own community uh, and in their own local economy. Everyone has a stake in it and everyone has something, con something to contribute. Um, uh, some people are fortunate and they have the financial means that uh, uh, perhaps they could move their money from a high street bank or from the stock market where um, they may or may not be getting a decent return to, uh, to invest that in a, a local business where um, uh, in all probability they'll get a better return and improve the quality of life in their community too. But it's not just about the money. Uh, everybody has something that they can offer, some kind of gift, some kind of support um, that they could invest in uh, a local entrepreneur. It's slightly terrifying, but to be honest, they didn't ask as many really hideous questions, so they were very nice dragons. More than anything, it just was very encouraging. You know, everyone is so positive and so supportive. Um, of our ideas and, and everyone's ideas and I think that's that's um, what's been the main thing that's come out of today and all of the pledges and support that we've had um, are really going to help it happen so no, it's been brilliant. Well, I was quite nervous but actually when you're up there you realise that everybody is with you, everybody's on the same side so it was, a, it was a real pleasure and a privilege to be up there and able to outline the Transition Homes project to people who are so supportive of the project. Already we've had offers of money, we've had more importantly perhaps offers of help from people with real specialist expertise in particular areas that we need. Yeah, it was great. It was a bit scary having questions by you, but actually um, it was a really great experience and all the pledges that came in today we got more than we asked for. Um, you know, so the, the, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I was really terrified to do it today um, and but I really believed in the project that I was doing, and so I thought it was really important to do it. At the end, when everybody was asking questions about how they could support us, um, I started getting really, really excited about our project. And at the very end, when people started pledging their support to help us in our vision for the future, I was blown away. And my heart is so full right now with thanks for all of the lovely people that were part of the Dragon's Den. So. I can't imagine a better Dragon's Den.